So I'm going to show you how to create a two arrow icon set just like this. What I've got here are just a couple of columns I've got of sales, January, February, and then the change from month to month. So that is just a simple uh, percentage change uh, calculation. Uh, here, just a reminder to hit subscribe below. What I want to do here is I want to make it more visually apparent that when there is a positive number. Uh, so how I'm going to do that, I can go in and just highlight this row here. So I'll highlight down to the bottom there. And then what I'm going to do is go into conditional formatting. I'm going to go down to icon sets and you, you can see you've got a couple of different options here. I'm just going to go with this top one here, the three arrows colored. Okay. Now you can see that uh, there's no real pattern or no, no consistent pattern uh, to the arrows there. And, and it's certainly not reflecting what I want. I want to show when there's a negative, I want there to be a, a, a red arrow, a red down arrow. And when it's positive, I want there to be a green up arrow. Okay. So how am I going to fix that? Once I've got that, I can just go back into conditional formatting here. And instead of icon sets, I'm going to go down to manage rules. Okay. Once I'm in here, I'm going to make sure this one's selected. I'm going to say edit rule. Now with this, I'm going to stay in this part here, format all cells based on their values. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the type to number. And I'm going to do that for both. Now that should automatically change these to zero, uh, both of these to zero. Uh, you, you could change it to whatever value you want. So for instance, you could have it that uh, over over 10% is green and less than 10% is red, uh, but I'm just going to leave that at zero. And remember at the outset, I said that I wanted this to be a two arrow icon set. So here I've got three. How am I going to change that? Well, I've got the green set, right? I want that to be green when the value is greater than or equal to zero. I could also change this to greater than, just greater than, uh, but I'm going to leave that at greater than or equal to. What I'm going to do with this yellow arrow is I'm just going to click on this little arrow here. I'm going to change that to no cell icon. So now you can see I've just got a green arrow and a red arrow. And that red is going to be when it is below zero. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK again. And you can see now I have red arrows when uh, it's negative and green arrows when it's positive. And I'm just going to change some of these numbers and you can see that is dynamic. As the numbers change, so do the arrows. If the video was helpful, uh, please hit subscribe for more.